and you start to realize, right, well, if I'm at a three to a four, mentally, how am I gonna trust myself to make important trading decisions consistently and with more money on the table if I don't work on my psychology? The answer is no. And you're gonna be, you're working against yourself. You have to get out of your own way. This is what trading is. Nobody wants to tell you that. Everybody wants to tell you there's these hacks. There isn't. It's just constant refinement and having the patience enough to master one system and do it well. That is it. So psychology is your best teacher and you can read about psychology and you can work on all these modules. For example, we have a program dedicated to this, the Rewired program. Every single module, step by step, for you to literally rewire the neural pathways, for you to stop thinking in a scarce mindset and in an abundance mindset so you can actually be wired in a way that helps you succeed as a trader and stop getting unfunded constantly. Refinement of the Falcon strategy, I'm pleased to announce, will be rolling out in Q2 sooner rather than later. I've been trading for over 14 years now, and I don't normally get excited about a particular refinement as such, but this one I've been testing for the, pretty much the whole of 2021. The amount of returns that I've been able to add to the account just by this refinement alone. For example, one refinement, one trade was actually, another trade was taken on Kiwi Yen with the refinement. But again, I'm gonna have endless examples for you, so it's absolutely black and white. So I've actually been able to protect us even more and then refine the entry in the right scenario, so you know what you're looking for, and then increase that run of returns. Absolutely mind blown. In this episode, I'm going to be sharing with you the three trading pillars that you need to have in place if you want to succeed for the long run. Most of these pillars, traders are not even aware of, and there's so many missing gaps in their trading, they just go round and round in loops. By the end of the episode, I'm confident you're gonna have such a clear understanding and actually finally have clarity as to what pillars you need to focus on to get to the next level. Right guys, so we're gonna keep this very, very simple. These pillars are so important and what I've got is a visual for you so you can kind of understand this because a lot of the times these these things they go through one ear and out the other and this is why that you have the trading industry as to what it is there's always missing gaps in their trading and they never really master all areas so think of it like a pyramid think of this trading pyramid if you like you've got your system you've got your trading plan and you've got your psychology one cannot exist without the other. If you aspire to want to trade larger amounts of capital, if you've got goals to be a funded trader, if you're already a funded trader, the interesting thing about this is that you can actually have your system and your trading plan, which I'm gonna explain this very simply in just a second. You can actually be funded without psychology, but then psychology comes back to haunt you later, which is the, the vicious loop that most traders are in, which is I'm funded, unfunded, I'm funded, unfunded, unfunded, again and again. And they keep coming back, burning cash, and not realizing or addressing the big elephant in the room that psychologically their mind is not mentally prepared yet to be able to trade that capital. So let's dig into this, and I've got an exercise for you for each one that is gonna massively help you out. So see it like this, we have the trading pyramid, all of these connect, everything is connected to everything else, remember that. Your system on the left, so this is your strategy, right? This is your trading strategy. Now your trading strategy should be a profitable strategy that you've tested, it's got an edge, you've back tested it, that you know that provides an edge over a period of time, right? So we've got that part down. Then we go to the top of the pyramid, which is the trading plan. This trading plan is going to be your more refined edge of the system itself, something that is very specific that you know exactly what you need to do is black and white essentially as to how you're going to perform with your trading plan most people have version one of their trading plan and we're very quick to rush these two parts because it's exciting you want to know your technicals and you want to go from here to here to say right i have a system and I have a trading plan but the reality is your first trading plan or maybe your first two will just be a draft you're not going to have to have it figured out fully, you're gonna refine it. You'll probably have an overcomplicated trading plan right at the start, and then you refine it down and it gets smaller and smaller, more concise that you're able to just execute on it. It should be very, very simple. Now we go over to the psychological part. 
This is the part where most people avoid. They have a very surface level of psychology, very base level. They understand things like FOMO, greed, re revenge trading, and maybe a few other things, but they never really dive deep into themselves. They don't do the inner work. The inner work is what actually gets you to that next level. After all, your ability to trade larger capital will be purely based off not just the technicals, because any person with enough time and patience can learn a system and have a trading plan that is essentially bulletproof to print money. Why can't they do it? Why is a small percentage of people the ones that succeed? Because they work on this, they work on their psychology. It's got nothing to do with a system. Let's say, quote unquote, there was the best system in the world. Let's say that exists and there was like, right, out of, I don't know, 100 systems, there's number one, that's the best trading system in the world. If you do not have your psychology in place, you give that to someone who has a poor mindset, they will never achieve results. It doesn't matter. So this is the part that people are still avoiding. I don't know why, but they still are. And the market really appeals to that because it's, it's the dopamine of, yeah, but look at this, you could get this return. And that's where your mind is. But that same mindset you got, that same broken mindset that you have is why you're still in the same position. Stop avoiding this because you'll never achieve the goals you want to achieve if you do not have that third key pillar on the right here actually in place. So if we can all agree on one thing, that success leaves clues, right? You would agree, if you see successful people, they tend to have other traits of other successful people. So if you look at Ray Dalio, you look at Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, Warren Buffett, the list goes on and on. They have something in common. They don't lack self-esteem, do they? They have high self-esteem, they're confident, they're decisive people, and they have similar traits that make them successful. That is true in trading as well. Successful traders have similar traits they have this part figured out. But the dangerous part about trading, as I mentioned, is that you can be really good, you can have a great system, there's lots of profitable strategies out there, you could have a great trading plan, you might be intelligent enough to follow rules, have some decent amount of discipline, and get a decent run of results. But it does not mean that you're ready to trade seven figures. So you see how one must link all together, it's like a full circuit, Otherwise, there'll be missing links, missing gaps in your trading, and you'll go up, down, up, down. You never really go anywhere, and you feel a little bit lost. Let me know if you resonate with that and you felt that way as well. Which leads me to the exercise. I want to give you something practical that you can take away from this, however you are trading in the markets. So number one, your trading plan. Right at the top, let's start with this. If you have a trading plan that consists of more than a couple of pages, scrap it. It is too much. I don't care how you're trading, what system you've got. If you have got a trading plan that is four, five, six pages long, I can already guarantee within a very high degree that you do not stick to that because most people are not wide. You're not sitting there with a trading plan flicking through and you've got all these appendix and all these different variables for you to then make a decision. Making the decision should be easy, quick, black and white, should be swift. All of the hard part is done in your forecasting, your analyzing to have the clarity to know, right, once this happens, I'm gonna do this. And if this doesn't happen, then I'm not gonna do this. Knowing what to do, it should be very simple, very specific as to what you're looking for. Number two, your system. How well do you know your system? I need you to approach this with your ego at the door. And I mean that, your ego needs to be at the door. If I ask you the question, right, how well do you know your system? Your ego, your egoic mind could say, well, I know it fully. I know it 10 out of 10. No, ask yourself truly, how well do you think you know the system? Do you know it like the back of your hand? Are you unconsciously competent? Do you know it like your name? If I rang you up at two in the morning and said, right, what's your name? You know it, right, like the back of your hand. Do you know your system like that? And if you don't, you've still got work to do. It's that simple. You have to be going into this mindset of mastery, not I just know it really, really well. That's not good enough in this industry. You're in one of the, the biggest, arenas in the world, the financial planet, and you think that you just wanna be good at trading. It's not gonna work out for you, my friend. You have to be a master at your craft. Are you facing yourself? Are you taking that extreme ownership where you say, yes, I am the problem, and why am I the problem? Well, you don't wanna ask why, because that's a harder question, isn't it? Looking at yourself in the mirror and facing your own demons, that's a more difficult thing to do. Yet, if you do that, I promise you, your trading will change forever. Your life will change forever if you can gain that level of self-awareness to ask those deeper questions. I promise you that. So that's that part, know your psychology. So I've got here your ASR mind and your trading mind. Now, what I mean by that, 
for those that don't know ASR, advanced self review. When you're reviewing your trades emotionally, technically, you're looking at missed trades, you're looking at your management, all of that type of stuff. What I want you to think about doing, and everybody trades differently, whoever's listening to this video, however you're trading, I want you to think about when you're doing that deep ASR and you're fig figuring out all these tweaks that need to be made, what plan of action do you have to take your ASR mind into your trading mind? And what I mean by that is this is your, your deep deep work mind into your actual executional in the live environment mind. How are you taking the lessons that you've learned from your trading into that? And how this works is again, let's say for example, you found a tweak in your ASR, which for whatever reason, a particular entry type, you're just not as clear on and they seem to reoccur in your missed trades and you hesitate on taking them and they're really profitable. What does that mean? Let's go back to the pyramid. You don't know your system well enough. It's that simple. Once you know your system well enough, you have clarity. Once you have clarity and you've tested it, you can put it in your trading plan. Once you're clear on your trading plan, you can execute on it. And then it will be psychologically whether you're intact enough to be able to execute on those decisions flawlessly without bringing too much emotion in from, let's say, you took a loss before and then that trade that you refined is in the plan, you then still hesitated on it. Well, it wasn't at that point because you didn't know it because it's there and it's clear. It's because psychologically you're still carrying the emotion on for the next one. So then you know, okay, so it was a psychological issue. Now let me dive deeper into that. See, this is all it is. It's just testing and figuring out. And as you get closer and closer, you get one step closer to actually breaking through this. And this is what trading is. Nobody wants to tell you that. Everybody wants to tell you there's these hacks. There isn't. It's just constant refinement and having the patience enough to master one system and do it well. That is it. So psychology is your best teacher and you can read about psychology and you can work on all these modules. For example, we have a program dedicated to this, the Rewired program. Every single module, step by step, for you to literally rewire the neural pathways, for you to stop thinking in a scarce mindset and in an abundance mindset, so you can actually be wired in a way that helps you succeed as a trader and stop getting unfunded constantly. So what I want you to do is think about your trading pyramid as to each one is just as important as the other, but you can have a few of them in place and almost get a false sense of confidence. If you do not get your psychology in place, because most people know that, let me ask you this, you ask a thousand traders in the room and say, how much percentage do you think that psychology plays a part in your trading? What answer do you think they're gonna give? 80%, 90%? Probably high, right? You probably think it as well. 90%, you could say, yeah, 90%. How much time do you spend on psychology? 10%? So you're doing it in the opposite. You're spending 10% on the very thing that is gonna get you to the next level. But why don't you focus on it? It's because there's no dopamine there. This is you facing yourself in the mirror. If you've got a terrible relationship with money and you don't believe you can be successful, how on earth do you think a trading strategy is gonna fix that? It's not. Now imagine all this time you've been focused on your system, your trading plan, and you've ignored psychology so much and then you wonder why you're going round this loop and you still don't get results. The most successful traders have figured this out. It is so simple, yet the market wants to complexify it. I hope you took some value from this episode and if you enjoyed this more whiteboard lesson uh, type thing, then please let us know. I'd be more than happy to do more of these type of episodes as they're very simple and you'll often find that the simple fundamentals of trading, once you've got them locked in and you know what to focus on, your trading will improve. It's not always complicated. It's about mastering the things that are very simple. That is where mastery comes in. It's not doing things in a complicated manner. It's doing the ordinary things in an extraordinary manner that produces those excellent results. Have an incredible week, weekend, wherever you are in the world. Let me know your number one takeaway for this episode. And if you wanna keep in the loop of all these episodes, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, turn on that notification bell. And if you wanna keep in the loop of everything that we have, all the things that we're about, all the links are in the description. And if you do wanna dive deeper into psychology and you're a trader right now, that you feel that you're lacking that psychological edge and you want a step-by-step -step system from module to module to really work on all those areas, then we have a full program dedicated to this to called Rewired. Go and check it out. It's gonna be an absolute game changer for you. So I can't wait to see you in the next episode and your thoughts on this trading pyramid. Let me know your thoughts. Catch you in the next one, guys.